Hola, mi gente. Joe Barreto back with you at the Credit Card Connection. I'm so glad you can join me. Well, mi gente, <laughs> my American Express saga continues. A couple of weeks ago, you saw I posted a video about having to cancel my first premium card after 35 years, which, of course, was the American Express Gold Card. Now, that wasn't an easy decision, and I went over in that video why I canceled. It just didn't bring me the value that I expected, especially at a $250 a year price point, when also the Platinum card hit at the same time. So it was just a perfect storm of annual fees hitting, and one card had to kind of go, and it had to be the gold card at this point. But here's what happened. When I canceled the card, when I called to cancel, the you know, I was hoping for some sort of retention offer or something like that. They didn't offer me one. And the only thing they offered me was a downgrade path to a green card. Now, the green card amongst the three American Express cards or charge cards is the first one, the basic one, let's say, right? Um, so they said, okay, we'll give you, we'll let you get the green card. I said, okay, how many membership rewards points? Here's where the problem is. They said, there's no membership rewards points to give you. And it kind of threw me off because I said, okay, there's no retention offer. And now you're not giving me any points to just switch down to another card, which still also has a fee of $150 a year. But, you know, they said the only way that you can get membership rewards points for the green card is if you apply for it. So they kind of put me up against the wall and I had to make a choice. I still canceled the gold card, but now I didn't have another card in its place to add the points to the platinum card because, you know, the platinum only gives you one point for everything except for flights. So I said, okay. He says, yeah, just apply again and you should be good to go. So what I'm going to tell you next is what happened to me just the other day, February 7th when I called to inquire about the green card. That sounds good to you. Do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button so that I can continue to bring you all this information. Hopefully this will help you if you find yourself in Amex pop-up jail. And um, this way I can continue to bring you content on different types of cards, finance tips, travel, etc. I really appreciate it, guys. So on February 7th, I decided to call and speak to a customer service rep because when I went online to the American Express pre-approval, it said I was approved, pre-approved for the card, but then it says, let's see if you're fully approved, whatever that is. So whatever that is happened to be that the infamous <laughs> pop-up jail window came up and it said that I wasn't eligible for you know, any sign-up bonus or membership awards points at this time because I've had the card in the past, because of my history with American Express, opening and closing, this and that, and just endless, you know, BS throughout, right? So I said, okay. So when I called the representative, she was a wonderful representative named Jody Ann. Um, so when I spoke to her, she said, you know what? Let me look at your history. Took a few minutes, put me on hold, found out I go back 35 years, like I told her. She also said, I see that you never had the green card. I said, no, I never have. So she said, would you mind if I call you back? Give me 15, 20 minutes. I'm going to call you back. Fine. Now, normally when they tell you they're going to call you back, they never call you back. But surprisingly, she called me back. So when she called back, I was a little bit shocked as to what she told me. And I took the notes down um, as to how the conversation went. Now, understand that I was excited because I said, oh, wow, maybe I'm going to finally get this done, right? You know, people think I'm an Amex fanboy, and I wouldn't say I'm a fanboy, but I like their products. I like, you know, Amex ecosystem and, and you know, their membership rewards points. But again, it's the platinum, the gold, and then the green. So I've had the other two, and now I was just trying to get the green more for the travel perks that kind of gives you more with transit and trains and ferries and parking and things like that, that the gold didn't give. Plus it only gives you one less point when you go out to restaurants. So it was, to me, it was a better all around fit for what I'm planning on doing. So when I spoke to Jody Ann, this is what she said. Um, she said, 
you canceled your gold card on January 18th. And she said, you know, it's still within the 30 days. And normally I tell people, I advise people not to apply for a card within 30 days. So I said to her, I said, look, I didn't go out and apply for the card. I went on the American Express app on my phone first, and then I went online and I just did the pre-approval, which doesn't hit your credit score at all, doesn't report, right? And I just kept, you know, filling it out. And it said that I was pre-approved for the card. So I said, the reason why I'm calling you is because it's saying that I don't qualify for the point. So here's what she said that really hit me hard. So she said, besides applying for a card after, you know, still within the 30-day window of canceling a card, you shouldn't keep applying for a card, even if it says it's a pre-approval tool, even if it says it doesn't report to your um, Equifax, TransUnion, or Experian. She said, because what happens is they, I guess, can tell how many times for them, it still shows up almost like you're applying. And I told her to repeat that because I wasn't kind of, I wasn't clear on what she meant by that. Because to me, I wasn't applying. I was going to see if I was pre-approved. So she said, no, nope. you applied literally 10 times in the past couple of weeks. And I said, wow. You know, and I keep track when I do these applications and when I do pre-approvals and all this other stuff. And she wasn't wrong. I did apply. You know, I did try to see if I was pre-approved about 10 times, but the only reason I kept doing it is because other creators on other channels and, and things in the past year, especially that, that this Amex pop-up jail has come into play, um, have said that if you go through an incognito window, if you try a different browser, if you try a different time of the day, you know, if you try on a different device. So I did everything that they said worked for them to get approved finally in the long run. What I didn't know until speaking to Jody Ann was they keep track of that for you on their end. So for them, even though you're not technically applying for the card, they still see it as an application. So what I ended up doing was I went into their portal that allows you to see when you're denied for a card, when you, you know, and it gives you a history and I see the history, you know, just bang, bang, bang. And I said, wow, she wasn't wrong. So it seems, and, and I wrote this down here just to make sure, um, she said that they also are counting other insurers, not just American Express. They're counting Chase, they're, cap they're counting Capital One, Wells, Bank of America, any credit card application that you might put out. Now, that's not a hard and fast rule, according to what she said, but they're, they're looking at it. And just by looking at it, for me, then that's going to be a hard and fast rule. Not as difficult, let's say, as you know, Capital One is when you have a lot of cards that you're applying for, and then they won't give you a card, or Chase's 524 rule, which is kind of you know, a hard and fast rule that, that's kind of out there and everybody knows about. But still, they are monitoring what you do. And I know it also depends on what customer service rep you're getting, who you're going to speak with. But this was an actual supervisor that called me back from Amex. It wasn't just a rep. So, you know, I'm kind of taking her word for it a little bit more than I would, let's say, just another customer service representative that I had on the other end of the line. And she did call me back when she said she did. And, and she offered up more information than anybody else has ever had when it comes to pop-up deal. She actually admitted how... You know, it is that this works, which no one else, they would always pass it off and kind of brush it off like, no, you know, just right now, or they gave me the standard line, but she was really more detailed about it. She also said that, um, you know, when you're going to apply, wait, if you don't, if you don't accept, let's say they tell you, you don't qualify now for the bonus points, and then you cancel the application. Yeah, it doesn't count as a hard inquiry. Yeah, it's not an application. But you have to wait another 30 days or more for the clock to reset. She says, because every time you apply for the card, 
it just keeps adding time to it. So you need to give it the 30 day re reset for them to, you know, really say whether or not you're going to be able to get the card or not. So I'm wondering if in the past seven or eight months that I've been trying to apply for this card and I have tried, like I said, different browsers, incognito mode, different devices, you know, at least once or twice a month in the past seven or eight months. So if I kept resetting that clock within the 30 day period, maybe that's why I'm not getting the bonus sign up. Maybe nothing is definite. They wouldn't give me a definite on it. I actually asked her to note on my account that I called for this specific reason under these circumstances and the reasons why, you know, I felt that, you know, it was bothersome that after 35 years, I'm trying to get technically in their hierarchy of cards, their most basic charge card, and why I'm not able to at least get the 40,000 or even on a product change, they would have offered me 20,000 and probably would have taken it. But, you know, for her to tell me no, and the reason why about applying within 30 days and, and how that's kind of like a hard um, and fast rule, it seems now, just seems to me now that American Express is really tightening their grip on how many, you know, membership rewards points they offer to people. I've noticed that even on a lot of forums, a lot of people have been saying that even when they get retention offers, the retention offers aren't as great as they used to be. So I guess they're trying to, you know, squash either as they call it, credit card churners or people that are just in it for the points and then cancel the card and so on. So I bring you all this information just because, you know, pop-up jail has become famous in the past year and it's that dreaded window, you know, because you're all excited about getting or applying for this new card, thinking that you're going to be able to get these other things. And then the window comes up. Now, what also surprised me was even in incognito windows, and I even used, I think one of them was, uh, besides Google Chrome and Safari, I used DuckDuckGo and I used a VPN. And still, because here's what happens. When you go through the regular American Express app, if you have an account with them already, kind of pre-populates, you know, the application pretty much. And then you just check off a box and click submit, right? So I could see that. But when you go into incognito, you have to personally put in your information again and starting from scratch and doing it over. They have records of all of this, it seems, because she was able to spit back every single thing that I've done over the past, especially the past month. She was just able to rifle off the dates and the times that I did it and so on. So my suggestion to everyone out there, and now more than ever, if you're planning on applying to American Express cards, and you don't have any yet, and you're interested in, let's say, transit and trains and ferries and parking and so on, start with the green. This way you can get the membership rewards points for the green. Then apply for the gold. This way you can get the four times dining, four times restaurants, and, and their Uber credits and so on for the gold, and then eventually sign up for the platinum so that you can get the bigger bonus that can go up to 150,000 membership rewards points for the platinum. Remember, now if you did it in reverse, platinum, gold, and so on, if you did platinum first, they're not going to give you the bonus for the gold. And from my understanding now, and um, I saw Matt Clausen do this on one of his videos, I believe it was yesterday, that there's a language now going to be on the green card about if you've had, you know, received bonuses for either this card or other cards in that family. So they're throwing in the family language. You're not eligible for the bonus. That means if that's the case, that means from now on, I'm just not going to be able to get the bonus. I'm going to have to apply for the card without any membership rewards points. The whole bottom line to all this is those of us that do this in this space, we want the sign up bonuses because that's normally when you get the most bang for your buck in the first year. Now it looks like they're just really clamping down on people that are doing it for these sign-up bonuses. So do your homework, do yourself a favor. Don't start at the top and go backwards like I did last year. Start at the green card, let that rock for a bit, then apply for the gold, then apply for the platinum, and you should be okay. Also remember, 
you could still check resi and i did that for the green card you could still do incognito mode nothing has come up that shows more than the forty thousand points for the green card at this point and today's date is february 9th so mi gente i'm bringing this out to you i hope i was helpful speaking to this representative and this supervisor you know she did shed a lot of light that they are i guess checking more and that's just something to keep in the back of your head because it's not as easy as it was even eight nine months ago okay so hopefully uh if i get this green card eventually i will bring you that update and as always i thank you for watching and i thank you most of all for the privilege of your time until next time take care